Hello YouTube, this is RikaRox2001 here making another YouTube video. Today I want to show you my two bootleg or Chinese ripoff of the PlayStation 2 console. It also works on PlayStation 1. Well, from my point of view. But it looks more like a DualShock 2 controller because um, DualShock 1s were only released in gray and white. They were never released in black. However, there were clear ones, but that's another story. These are two counterfeit ones. I bought this one off eBay from 2012. And um, it's been serving me very good past years. I only got this to match my ceramic white PS2 for player 2 since I'm using that DualShock controller. However, I still use this controller. And the D-pad works rather well. It feels pretty good in the hands. The face buttons feel good. The analogs are good um, I heard that sometimes these analog sticks will stop working but if I'm not mistaken you could use a, a actual Sony analog because the pin the pins are similar to the counterfeit one so if it th this does not do anything but this still does something um, I'm guessing you can replace this analog I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing. Here's my other one that I got not too long ago. I got it at a thrift store for about two bucks. It's actually set a dollar ninety-five. But this one, um, these rubbers feel more smooth, and they have like cream underneath. I don't know if it's just due to age or something. Now I actually went through two of these. Um, the first one, um, this was the one with the, uh, I'll had the uh, part of this broken off. That was an easy fix. I swapped it with the other controller, and now this one works like it should. The other one actually had this analog stick um, very loose. It wouldn't go back into place. I thought this was um, sticking out, but it wasn't. It was actually in the analog. The actual analog analog, not the cap, was loose. So I returned the other analog the other controller with so I swapped one of these out with the other controller and put it in here now this one works perfect um, I'm guessing this person took really poor care about his controllers he probably probably smashed this so many times that the analog broke off but it, let me show you what it looks like the d-pad feels pretty good some people say it's crap I disagree with them feels good in the hands analog sticks the L3 and R3 are kind of hard to press, but I have no problem with that. Select and start. Feel normal. Analog. Lights up. The shoulder buttons feel pretty good in the hand. The face buttons feel good, but although this one looks a bit different, if you can see, that triangle is not a triangle. It's actually segmented, and that square is a little segmented. The X looks like a snowflake. The O, um, it's hard to show on camera. It kind of looks like an O, but there are some lines right here. I don't know if you can see that. Those are my two bootleg controllers and the cord length is actually shorter uh, by pretty much. So if you um, have a TV very far away from you and your controller is very long cord, I suggest you stick with the official controllers. But if your TV is halfway is way closer than you think it is, um, I recommend these, unless you want to get an extension cable, but that's not the case. Oh, and another thing, if you're having problems when you take it apart, there are going to be six screws right here, as normal. Just like the official one, this uses screws, not like Torx bits, like 360 controllers, not tri-wing like Wii controllers and GameCube controllers, but just normal Phillips heads. Which is nice. Even the official Sony controllers use Phillips heads. But that's what I want to show you with my two PS2 knockoff controllers. They also have silver and some clear colors. But I went with black and white. Well, I got the white one for a reason. And I found the black one at the thrift store to see if I could fix it. And I did. So, that's my video. Thanks for watching.